Welcome back to my channel, I'm Taylor. I have some exciting news. This doesn't relate to the video I'm doing today, but I got Jason to agree to doing Vlogmas. So this season, Jason and I are gonna be doing Vlogmas. I'm not sure how many days, but I'm really excited. So make sure you subscribe so you are aware of when we're posting. Now let's dive into what we're gonna be talking about today. And I am really excited about this video. I haven't done a bag review in quite some time, so I figured why not do it today? And I'm gonna be reviewing my newest bag, which is the chain pouch from Bottega Veneta. This bag is all over Instagram. It's kind of become like a pretty hot bag to have. And I wanted to talk to you guys about whether or not I think it's worth purchasing. Throughout the video, I'm gonna be talking about the pros and cons of this bag, and then you guys can decide for yourself if you think it would be a good bag for you. First, let's talk about the design of the bag. This bag is so cute. I can't even deal with it. The chunky chain is just adorable. I get so many questions about this bag whenever I wear it, just because it makes such a statement. And the chain, I literally, I don't know, I'm obsessed with it. The cons about having the chunky chain on the bag is that it's extremely heavy, which is good. I mean, it's good that it's heavy, but it's also a con because when you wanna hold the bag like this, it like, it's so heavy that it just like squishes one side of the bag. And I've seen a lot of people like holding it like a baby, but I also don't understand how they're doing that if it's like the chain is so heavy, it like just sags the whole bag down like that. But if you wanna wear it on your shoulder, it works fine. So, I don't know. Maybe they just have like stuffed full of stuff. So when you're holding it like a baby, I don't know. I just don't think this way is a way I'm gonna like to wear it. Like it squishes it, look at that. Another con to having the chunky chain is this. It's loud, so if that's gonna bother you, then the bag probably isn't for you, but I actually don't mind it. Also, when you're walking, sometimes it goes for another pro about this bag is it comes in so many different colors. Like the chain, you guys can tell I'm like having a hard time holding it. But the leather is so, so, so soft. But since the leather is so soft and so delicate, I feel like it's really easy to scratch. I'm not quite sure how, but I did already scratch it right here. I think it's from like pulling it open because the way you open this bag is like this. So. I think I might have scratched it with my long nails or something, but it already has like a little mini scratch on it. So it's very delicate leather. Now let's talk about the inside of the bag. It's extremely spacious. You can fit so much stuff in here. I only have my wallet in here and there's still so much extra room in this bag. The downfall about the inside of the bag is I actually really like to have a side pocket in my bag to store like tampons or loose cards or things that are just like loose in my bag and annoys me to dig around in it. Um, but this bag doesn't have that. It's not a deal breaker, but I just kind of wish it had that on the inside. The bag overall, I think, is a really amazing piece, and I've actually worn it a lot more than I thought I was going to already, because I thought it was more of like a wear every once in a while type of bag, but I've just been wearing it all the time. Just the quality of the bag, the craftsmanship of it, and the unique design, I would probably buy another one. I just discovered, when I was staring at my bag trying to come up with what my feelings on it, I just discovered that this part of the chain comes off. So, but this side doesn't come off, so I'm not really quite sure why you would want that. But it does come off. If you guys know why this side comes off or what you're supposed to do with it, let me know. The bag is $3,600, which I know is a lot of money. And the only downfall is that Bottega bags don't hold their value as much as a Chanel bag or a Dior bag. Their value has gone up in the last few years, but with that being said, I don't usually buy my bags and plan on selling them. I just buy the bags that I love and that are really speaking to my heart at the time. And this one is one of them. Even though there are some cons to this bag, there's a lot of pros and I think that the pros outweigh the cons. I would definitely buy another one in a different color. I actually am so obsessed with this bag, but like I said, there's a few things that annoy me about it. Specifically, that's the most annoying thing. Like that just doesn't look cute. Can you guys hear it squeaky? That's all I had for today. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you can subscribe in the bubble on the screen and thanks for watching.